Hello and welcome to another Shared Screens Review. Joining me as part of Shared Screens, we have Alec Bobco and Chris, aka Rumble Pack, to talk all things Street Fighter VI, baby. Chris could not wait for this one. So, ah! here we are. Chris, I'm going to make you wait a little bit longer. So, what's the ah! mystery with uh, us as a group with Street Fighter VI? Alec, go ahead. Um, I think we pretty quick. This is my first Whoa. Street Fighter. I've never played. Um, Chris actually kind of helped get me into this one, kind of talking about the modern controls and played a couple of the betas, and I- I'm in. Wow, okay. It's God's hooks in me. I'm yeah, in. as someone who, like, I think I've told this on told this story on content before, but I, I used to just play, like, Madden and Need for Speed and that kind of stuff until, like, I found Fallout 3, and that's what, like, helped me become a quote-unquote gamer. Um, so once I discovered more video games in the breadth of instead of like EA games, essentially, um, I was, I went back and tried to play a bunch of games. So I tried playing street fighter two. Like, I don't remember what I played it on, but I, I tried playing that. That's hard as fuck trying to, trying to go back to it. <laughs> when you're not, when you're not yeah. good at fighting games. Um, so, but there's something about street fighter that I, I don't know how to explain it, but like when someone says video game, I think of like Mario, I think of like, I mean, for me, Sonic, just cause that's what I grew up with. But Street Fighter's up there too. Like I think there's something about Street Fighter that yeah. just exudes video games, and there's something about the aesthetic that I'm like, this is what video games should look like. Like this just feels right. It looks right. It just sounds right. Think of that theme, that Guile theme. The dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Like we'll get to the soundtrack too. I, I assume in a little bit, but but yeah, Street Fighter. I think just is like the epitome of video games, and I think six. Like, does not change that at all. I think it just it just feels right. It looks right. It, it's fun to play. It's just it, it's what video games should be. Chris, what's your history with Street Fighter? A little bit, a little well, bit more. What's fun than two too is uh, what's what's fun too is that Street Fighter created the fighting game genre. The original uh, it was it, yeah. Street, the original Street Fighter was the first like one on one fighting game that like in 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 the way that we know it now, right? It wasn't like a side scroller, like Final Fighter or anything like that. It was it was you play against it, another person, and that was that was a it, was, it wasn't thing. a beat em up. No, Did yeah, Mortal Kombat yeah. Come uh, after Street Fighter, Street Fighter Two, I assume. Yes, okay. yes, after Street Fighter Two. Uh, as my as far as my personal history with with Street Fighter, uh, I've literally been playing my entire life. Um, I could I could call my mom right now, and I would if she weren't in, in living in Germany, and it's like two a.m. over there to confirm. But my <laughs> the very first games that I played on the Super Nintendo were Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. Like the, the, it's it, it's in my blood, right? It, uh, Grow, growing up, right? I mean, yeah, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter 2 on the Super Nintendo. I had Dead or Alive 2, Mortal, Marvel vs. Capcom, Street Fighter Alpha 3. Uh, you know, I was I was I was there during the, the the first fighting game renaissance with with Mortal Kombat 9 and Street Fighter 4 on the 360. Uh, I I played Street Fighter 5 at launch. Uh, all all one mode of it. Uh, <laughs> like I, it's like I've I've been I've I've been here since the basically since the beginning. Like as long as I physically could, having been born in 1992. And and uh, yeah, I like Street Fighter 6 a lot. Just, just briefly before we get <laughs> like, into that, just real quick, how how much of a bummer was Street Fighter 5? <laughs> so it's it's hard to quantify okay. in 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 the in the way that it was it was a bummer at launch mm-hmm. and uh, after after about a year a year or two uh capcom had a big uh, like leadership change right and in the team that that made street fighter 6 took over five and they turned it around big time so by the time street fighter 5 was done it was an incredible game That's fair. Um, but I mean, it did launch with training mode and online, and that was it. That was wow. that was what was in the game. Uh, it, you didn't get you didn't even get arcade until like three months after after the launch, right? Because right. Capcom was in dire straits at that point, and a bunch of the people that, that worked at Capcom said it's like if we didn't put Street Fighter out when we did, we would have gone under. Look at them now. Like it was look at Capcom uh, now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Look at them now, dude. We're, <laughs> we got we, we got Cap God back, right? Like they they genuinely haven't missed in the last like six years. Yeah. That's absurd. It's Mo- it's Monster Hunter World, really. So does that? I I didn't say Resident Evil Seven. Yeah, I was, gonna, I was the same thing. Does does True, that yeah. increase how you view Street Fighter Six, or because you saw how they ended Street Fighter Five, this is what you expected? Uh, because I, yeah, I would say it was, it was coming out of five. Like I had really, really high hopes for, for six because they managed to turn five around in, in, in such a, in such a way. And, and they did a really cool thing too, to where, uh, when they, when they'd initially like put out the game, um, they were like, Hey, for the next few years, this is how many seasons we're going to have. This is how many characters we're going to be in, uh, and adding and, and, and all of that stuff. And then we, we finished the last like season of street fighter five and they went, Hey, 
we need a little more time to work on Street Fighter VI. So we're doing a one more season in five. Here's a couple of new characters, one of them being Luke uh, from, from six. And they're like, Hey, if you want kind of a taste of, of one of the new characters, uh, from six and how they're going to play, here's Luke. Uh, and, and they did, it was a really cool kind of like tease for what was coming. Right. Which was, which was really, really cool. So yeah, I was, you know, I, I, I was coming into six hot, right? Like, uh, they, they had done such a great job of turning that game around. And, um, uh, but I think, I think on top of that, they're just like, six just kind of nails everything aesthetically, right? Like they, like they genuinely take it kind of back to that, that street feeling, you got the whole like hip hop vibe, all of the graffiti and, and, and paint mo- motifs. Uh, there's like genuine single player content, like all of this stuff. Like it's, it, yeah, like they, they don't miss, Capcom doesn't miss right now. It's kind of absurd. It's crazy to think where they were like five years ago. So it's one of those things. A 92 on Metacritic and open. Incredible. Critic. Wild. For this. I have a feeling. Wild. After, oh, RE, after RE4, that got like what, like a 90 uh-huh. or something like that? I have a feeling we won't be uh, in And in like, <laughs> and we're what? five days since launch now uh they've already sold like a million yeah. copies yeah uh, yeah that was monday that they sold all the million like just over the weekend essentially yeah crazy uh i broke i think the the all-time like concurrent steam player record at over seventy thousand games over seventy thousand people online on saturday oh, yeah. playing street fighter 6 like that doesn't mm-hmm. happen for fighting even games, i jumped right? in to like, get my that's, ass kicked no. that's really cool. I, I did it i went in there <laughs> i just wanted to, i wanted to see mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> i did two matches i maybe got them down to their bar to like maybe half and that was it that was the best i could do <laughs> i was like cool this isn't this isn't what i do guys it's not what i do <laughs> <laughs> i'm not from here <laughs> foreigner um, but yeah, so Alec, you're just to carry on the, the podcast a little farther here, uh, service level thoughts. What do you think of street fighter six and it being your first street fighter? I'm honestly, or this game has, its like I said earlier, it has its hooks in me. Like most of the time for fighting games, like I think of like the, um, Mortal Kombat, the injustices, you know, I play the story, kind of get in and get out, find the one or two combos that I can do and just keep spamming those. <laughs> um, but. <laughs> With this game, it introduces the modern control scheme, and it honestly just revolutionized how I think of fighting games. Like, I can actually play fighting games, and, like, I'm understanding some of the mechanics to this game. Like, there's, like, the drive parry, the drive rush, like, that whole gauge, essentially. Um, The part I actually really like is the character guides. Like, they actually step-by-step process of, hey, this is how you play this character. And those actually have helped me so much. I've, you know, and then they have the uh, combo training where it actually teaches you and walks you through all those combos. So I've actually found a couple of different combos that I've been using. Um, and just finding these characters that I love, like I've played maybe the first hour, just finding like what character I just jived with. Uh, in the beta, I was playing a bunch as Kimberly and she's kind of stuck with as my main uh, till now, but I found I really like playing as Manon, uh, kind of a real more grapple style, and then just Marisa because if you can, you just get some hits in with her, she will just destroy your. Health. Yeah, I found out that if you're really uh, bad and you can only hit them a few times, aka me, Marissa's the one to at least give a go, <laughs> to at least give, give it a try. And I got, I got pretty close. There's a, there's a recurring joke in like the the, the high level Street Fighter community going right now. It's like, hey, don't whiff against Marissa because you will die if you mess up. Basically, <laughs> like, yeah. I get it. I understand. But I'm absolutely loving this game. Like, it's. I was telling Chris earlier, uh, or last week, I think, even on like Friday when we were playing back and forth, of just. I can see this game just kind of being in my constant rotation, like Tears of the Kingdom, just get a few matches in, hop over to Tears of the Kingdom, do some shrines, or like vice versa, just kind of keep this ever present in my gaming rotation. Yeah, I think that's like the biggest compliment you can give it, right? Because this is your first Street Fighter, and oh, it's yeah. coming out at a really tough time for, for like video game, like just getting your play in. Mm-hmm. So like the fact that you're still like, you know what, I can see myself still playing Street Fighter Six. I like that. That's that's a good testament. I, I like that. I like to hear that. So, is that, is that everything, Alec? May I may I take it away? Um, at first surface level, yeah. Okay. I enjoy Street Fighter VI. I wouldn't say I love any fighters. Uh, the one caveat to the fighter that I love is I think it's called Mortal Kombat Armageddon because it has motor combat, and motor combat is fun mm-hmm. as fuck. Yes. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and combat chess, which was hilarious. Yeah, that, like really weird, like, oh, yeah. things that yeah. were just came with the game. Yeah, it was, it was great. Anyway. 
But you brought up like the character guides, and I cannot give this game a bigger bigger compliment than the fact that I started playing as Jamie. I fucking hated Jamie. Great character, I yeah. hated him so much, <laughs> but I was so interested in his fighting style because I'm a sucker for like back in the day. I used to watch Jackie Chan, Drunken Master, like a lot with my dad, and that was just uh, something my yeah. dad and I did, and we bonded over. So I was like. No, I'll give it a few more tries. I went to the character guides, and then I was mad at first because I was like, you're not telling me what button. You're just saying do this. And then I saw in the corner, it says try this. I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm just dumb. Cool. <laughs> so the character guides are huh, the, I never yeah, saw Yeah, I was that. like, it's saying, like, just hold this meter down <laughs> if they don't blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, hold what? You're not telling me what to do. And then I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm just stupid, all right? And I've said this on every review mm-hmm. ever for shared screens that I'm just dumb. So the fact that Street Fighter 6 was like, hey, 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 dummy. It's right here. Go ahead and just try it. So I cannot say I don't have enough praise or I, I cannot say enough praise for the fact that their character guides and their combo guides actually work because near the end, I wouldn't say I was good with yep. Jamie, but I, he ended up being a character that I liked when at first I just I could not stand him play play wise. And usually if that if that's the case, like with a huge not a huge roster, but with a roster of fighters, I just move on. Right. Like you're like, OK, this one's not for me. I'll try someone else. Mm-hmm. But I ended up like pushing through with jamie which is something i don't usually do and i really 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 like his his play style i'm always a basic guy and i i always like going for the the second so like ken ken was has always been my guy for every street fighter and i'm like you know what i don't care that's basic i like playing as ken I, regardless of what ken's fucking rad in this I, game I, I think too. he's dope as fuck <laughs> oh i got destroyed by one before we started recording like he perfect ko yeah, me I, I, fun, I, fun, fun fact ken uh, ken is the second most popular character to play as in the game that's fantastic yeah ken has always been my yeah. if i had a main it's probably ken even though i don't play every street fighter and when i do play street fighter it's like five hours tops and then it bounce which is about the same amount of time i put into this and i would love to talk about uh what, what's it called like the one where you like go around the city fighting random ass people world, world tour world tour i almost said battlegrounds like that that ain't right but yeah, world tour is that's the online yeah world yeah. tour is wacky and dumb but i love it <laughs> it makes no sense yeah. you just walk up it's freaking, a very good like larissa trying to get her bus to work and you're like boom <laughs> we're fighting now and people don't help her they just gather around and start watching <laughs> like oh what's going on they start, here? they start like taking photos with their phone and stuff they're like oh shit they're fighting yeah, like, fight, fight, this fight, makes fight, no fight. sense but i love it i love it so it, much and it's a great way it's a very good for a player like me to learn podcasting oh, yeah i totally agree yeah it's a great podcast like as well yeah totally agree go ahead yeah well i was just, that's all i was just like because that's all i did is when i want to take a break from online because i was just getting my butt kicked yeah. because you know it was one of those like you just they have so many servers that it's hard to pick. Like I almost wish they had one like, Hey, this server is for modern controls. <laughs> like, you know, beginners that way you're not just getting stomped every yeah. turn. Um, so I took a break and went to world tour and just kind of breeze through that because you can power level so quick. Yeah, that. It's pretty, it's pretty easy. It's pretty baby <laughs> mode, especially at the beginning. Like there's, and I said, it's wacky. The one thing I would, I do want to talk about is there's this like superhero on the roof near the beginning of the game. The watcher. The watcher. Like, level like 28. Yeah, he's, when he's I was level, level, like, level, yeah, three or five. level like 28. I'm level like four. I go up there and I just fucking block everything. He, or I just don't let him, I essentially don't let him hit me. Cause he, he has like power up forever or whatever. And I'm like, this is probably the cheesiest thing, but I feel good that I beat your fucking ass. <laughs> like I, I beat your fucking ass. <laughs> yeah. So, and just last thing, I, I think the variety in characters are actually really, really cool because they don't, they don't have, I wouldn't say they have a big roster. I would say they have a decent sized roster, but I, I, uh, lar- lar- largest uh, launch roster in a street fighter game. And more, more power to them. I just don't think in, in general, like fighting games, period i don't think it's a it's a big roster to start with but it could be wrong like i, I didn't think there was a ton it's mean, like medium yeah but I, i'll say yeah it's i think it's more so because we're used to like seeing like smash bros sure. ultimate like character select screen I, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's not it's not smash bros or mortal Kombat or really even even tech and like i think it's on the lower end for as, as far as those but as far as 2d fighters go like it's a pretty it's a pretty sizable mm-hmm. yeah okay it's pretty decent that's fair. Roster. regardless of that i think the variety and how different all the characters are is really really good because oh, yeah. like and they all seem and, somehow mm-hmm. not grounded because clearly these have these people never fucking exist but there's something about them that like you don't feel as absurd in like the genuine way as like a mortal Kombat character i don't know what the what it is about it there's mm-hmm. the, the way it's pre- presented the way they go about it i think it's done very very well to where, like i could see you walking down the street you fucking maniac <laughs> you are a maniac but mm-hmm. i love you <laughs> go ahead yeah i was just gonna say shout out to them too like having kind of like their ease of play style like their approach to uh fighting uh too like they have like speed tricky uh close combat or then like you know easy normal hard kind of like levels uh because that's kind of how i picked who i was playing as at the beginning 
I have no um, idea what you're talking about. <laughs> so like when on the on the character play. select screen, it'll tell you the, kind of like the the difficulty of use and the the combat style, yeah. whether they're like rush down or 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 spacing or whatever. What was what was Jamie for <laughs> difficulty? Uh, he's like a medium, I, I think. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, that sounds <laughs> that makes right. Sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, man. He's medium because like his his buttons aren't the most difficult thing in the world, but he does have the the, the whole like drink mechanic yeah. that you kind of got to work yeah. in your combos and stuff. Yeah, which which is a little more complicated than you know luke who punches <laughs> luke does a punch punch yeah yeah, yeah. I, I like the the variety of characters and i there's something about the game as a whole where i'm like i do think the world tour is missing something i can't for for sure say what it is but like i think it's a fun mode Writing. it helps me learn it's wacky it gets you in it's perfect for like what alec mm-hmm. was saying where like if you're tired of getting your butt kicked you just jump in there for a few uh, like a half an hour or whatever maybe jump back into online or whatever but but yeah i do feel like it's missing some special factor but i also think it wasn't really aiming to be like the pr- the main part of your time is supposed to be like kind of like this side thing so i totally get that yeah i think me it's think more for me going into it being like this is the main mode i'm gonna play i was wanting a little bit more out of it but i think that's more on me so if you're going into this game like mm-hmm. i want this like uh, breath of like a story single player. single player you're not gonna get that it's more of a fun casual learn the ropes with a wacky sort of uh and sort of it's thing. for building up your avatar as well yeah. because in that mode you can build up your avatar have a bunch of different like basically give them like the craziest moves that oh oh i, I like this super move from luke but i like this one from marisa yeah. this one from kimberly yeah. like you can and, basically build your favorite character and you can essentially flirt with chun Lee, which is pretty dope <laughs> and i was like hell yeah <laughs> this, this. and jury and cammy <laughs> whoever you want and luke Wh- whoever you want <laughs> yeah that's all i have to say so chris mm-hmm. Uh, so service level thoughts. Uh, I'll I'll start that by kind of like finishing a question that they, they asked me earlier, which which was just like was Street Fighter Five a, a, a disappointing game? Um, and I said I said it was hard to quantify one because because they did such a great job turning it around towards the end, but also uh, I I've got a bit of a soft spot towards it because while I've played fighting games pretty much my entire life, Street Fighter Five outside of outside of like Smash, Street Fighter Five was the the like traditional fighting game to really bring me into the, to the FGC, the fighting game community. Like uh, I, you know, that was, that was when I started playing online and, and, and playing ranked and getting into character guides and like really started like, like delving into, into what makes a fighting game, a fighting game rather, rather than just being like, ah, oh, I like to throw hat tokens and, and, and do stuff and play arcade. Right. Did, did five have um, character guides like six does? No. Okay. No, six is the only game to, uh, to have character guides in, in, in the Very series. Player which is, friendly, I like that. Which 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 is part of why I'm so high on on this is is because um as as a fighting game fan it's like you always want to to kind of like share that that love and passion with others and 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 the just kind of the joy that I've seen of watching other people get to experience what I did years ago just in terms of like having it click and being like oh I get this this is really fun and and the game itself having all of the tools to do that with within the package rather than having to go and find it somewhere else I, th- I think is just part of the genius of, the, of this game right like the modern controls help uh help, I mean they, they they help get rid of the the complications of it right and so like for the for the honest to kind of for, uh Street Fighter is what is called a six button fighter, which means you have medium light heavy punch, medium light heavy kick, uh, and and then to do specials you'll do something like quarter circle forward punch, and that's head open right on with with Ryu and Ken like that that sort of thing, and and you're doing all these things to string them together. What Modern Controls does is take it into light medium heavy attack and and uh they they have you have auto combos on 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 each button if you hold the trigger you get access to more to more combos it's a little character dependent depending on what combos are 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 where and you can mess around with that and then y is your special button so to do a hadoken you press y or sure you can forward y and and that uh it, it breaks the barrier of having the the physical execution of trying to do things and allows you to 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 focus on the what's called the, the the neutral in 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 fighting games basically is the is the point where you're you're not doing combos you're just kind of poking at it, at each other and, and trying to get in there and and find that that weak spot to where you can start doing your combos and it's completely changed the 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 way that I approach Street Fighter because I've always had a time a hard time with uh like supers and and stuff on on stick because that's usually two quarter circle forwards in a button right so you got to go bleh, 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 like real real quick whereas I can press why be down and and immediate and and combo into my 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 level three super and and i'm able to to kind of focus on a different part of the game that 
because that barrier is gone. But also if you're a new player, you're coming in, you're immediately able to, to, to just be like, Oh yeah, these are the buttons I can, I can, I can play, I can do stuff, uh, which I think is really, really important for, for getting new people in is being able to immediately just do cool shit. That's that, that's huge. Um, and so, and so, yeah, just watching like so many people, uh, like like online and uh, in our community, and uh, even even here in shared screens, just just kind of watching it click and, and understanding what there is to to love about fighting games is is a huge part of why I, I I'm so high on on, on Street Fighter Six is is because you know it, it's I, I I like have it, having that and other people like understanding and I'll be like yes you get it finally that's the, the this is so mm-hmm. great and all of that is is there within the game like uh, like you guys were saying I was I was so happy to hear you guys talking about the character guys and stuff and, and going through those. And, and I was like, yeah, man, like the, having all of the resources available in a game like this is so uncommon for a, for a fighting game. Like I'd like, I want to point out to you guys how, how this doesn't happen. Usually you'll have training mode mm-hmm. and maybe like some, some combo challenges. And then you have like arcade and online and that's fighting games. Mostly sometimes there's a story mode. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes there isn't. So, to, so to be able to, to come in and, and have the game explain to you how each character should work and what you should be doing in, in particular situations is so awesome. Yeah. I love that. Totally agree. Um, yeah. Well, to respond, like, it's stupid and silly and, like, and mm. ridiculous, but it's a, but it's a cool time to be able to, it's, it's, it's an opportunity to kind of be able to just see the characters in a, in a, in a different way because the street fighter has stories usually like attached to the, to the arcade, but it's, it's never like on an NRS level for like mortal Kombat and, and stuff. Right. And, and so like just so, kind of being able to, to be in the world and experience the characters is really cool. Like in, in, in that way. And, and, so I'm probably a little higher on it than usual because I'll be like, ah, Chen Li texted me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can jump in quick. So the story modes per se for all Street Fighters has always been like the ilk that is in this game. It's been similar to that where it's like you go to a character and you play like a few matches and then essentially you get their story. And you get a cutscene. Yeah. Not yeah. even a cutscene. Like much. The, think of the arcade or like the. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Cause I did that's, I the, did. that's that's the vast majority of Street Fighter stories. I did yeah. half of them and I was like, I don't think there's a lot of substance here. So I quit doing that but five tried to do the mortal Kombat thing to where it's like you'd have cut scenes in between in, in between matches uh but it was really really bad and stupid <laughs> okay fair enough uh <laughs> and the world tour is bad and stupid but in a fun way whereas the last one was just yeah. bad yeah 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 the, yeah this game knows what it is man <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, and, and and i love that for it well that's something i really like like you mentioned of uh, people like finally getting it to click like you even like you we played for like three hours friday uh friday night and you could literally see it like me just f- things finally clicking and like i saw uh, the improvement from the beta man like, yeah. like i really and did like, i was i was like oh he's getting it oh he's he's learning you guys mm-hmm. you guys faced off oh, oh yeah. yeah it was like three or four hours so, straight uh, we were just playing friday Chris, night be as blunt as you want can alec hang with you with modern controls no okay <laughs> i wanted to know <laughs> i wanted to know sorry yeah, buddy there's times, no. <laughs> well, also that was also after a long day of work like it was, yeah it was like eight nine o'clock at night when we were playing so i, I it's it, it, and, and <laughs> I, I don't say this to i don't say this to be mean oh for sure for sure like, but, but, was but, like, uh, let me switch characters so you can have some fun <laughs> i went we went in as luke who i'm who i'm manning in the game we played one match and i was like i'm gonna switch <laughs> i was like this is this isn't gonna be fun for either of us yeah. like <laughs> like he damn near like perfect KO'd me like just right out of the gate when he picked Luke. I'm just curious. Like I'm not like I, I yeah I don't say it's mean usually when I'm playing with like the the, the screens community I put I put the training wheels on a little bit. Uh so I was yeah. like I just yeah. we're we're going to have some fun. We'll we'll enjoy it, you know. Uh, then he picked JP and just still was just zoned me and I couldn't get near him. So Alec think think, <laughs> think, think should, of how that is. That would be you against me, but I would be you if that makes sense. That's that's how bad I am at fighters. Like I am just there to try to <laughs> oh, learn. A, like I have like essentially mm-hmm. one or two combos that I know, and I'm like, all right. The, the, yeah, see, that's normally me yeah. in fighting games, but <laughs> with the modern controls and how accessible Street Fighter Six has been, I can definitely tell I've already even just the I think I've put in like twelve hours or so yeah. in these few days. Like I can already tell I'm improving. I could see it, man. Uh, there point where yeah, you're you're shaking up the approaches. You are you are anticipating like drive impacts. I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. That's All right, perfect he's it. yeah, man. Hell yeah, <laughs> Tell you, those are satisfying when you perfect parry a drive impact. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm so I'm so glad parries are back too. That was that was a concept that was introduced in Street Fighter Three and hasn't been in since. And uh, I, I think it really mm-hmm. works for for the the way the mechanics of this game are set up. 
um <laughs> which which i mean yeah it's it's if i could ju- do just one word service level before we get into it i fucking love the mechanics in, in, in this game you guys mentioned uh you guys touched on the cast specifically what's, what's so cool about coming from five to six is that when you when you when you guys like see some of the like if you're going to go into the character guides and you see like all these like super unique moves that, that everyone has uh like who, who have you guys been playing like like Manon has like all these really cool grabs right or or uh, uh who who are you playing again Austin? Jamie for the most part yeah okay ja- yeah ja- Jamie's got these really cool combos that that get more more intense and get longer and stronger like the, the more drinks he has you know, uh, and so and that that sort of thing I, I just in call Street him, Fighter call him five alcoholic and then I, 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 I in, the character in Street Fighter five a lot of those moves would have been locked behind what they what they call the V trigger which is rather than having like the drive mechanic stuff there wasn't the the, the impact the rush the parry uh what it, what it had instead was, was you would activate the V trigger and it was this, be this bar that would activate and it would go down but it would essentially like kind of add all of those moves to to your move set for unlimited an amount of time um gotcha. which I, at, at the time was cool and, and characters had like multiple v triggers and stuff kind of you can almost think of it as like the different styles in like mortal Kombat 11 right of, of each character mm-hmm. how they have different, right. different special moves available to them but what what kind of happened though was was that all of the unique stuff kind of got locked behind the the v triggers for each character and you were only doing that maybe once or twice like per game um well, it, it made everyone feel a little homogenous. It was uh, like a lot of people had the same the same normals, the same buttons, uh, because all of the unique stuff was was locked away. This other mechanic that you had to build up to and then unlock, and then it was gone again. Whereas uh, the genius idea of of including like this uh, the the drive impact as which is like a counter the the parry and and, and the drive rush uh, and lock locking all of your your extended specials to the to that same meter is that now everyone has all of their cool stuff just as part of their normal move set. And, and uh, the the drive stuff adds on top of that uh, to where it's like it feels really really aggressive without feeling like the 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 devs like poking you in in a particular way because a lot of times games will will add like particular things is like we want people to be really aggressive and, and not play defensive and and it feels like really artificial in the way that they implement it where this is this feels really natural and, and just kind of part of the game and having a full drive bar for every round is so fucking genius. Like in any other yeah. fighting game, you would be building building that up. And if you spent your dry bar in round one and then you start round two, it would still be gone and you'd have to build back up to it. But in this one, you start full every time so you can you can immediately just start firing off stuff. And that's and that's brilliant. That's that's the way to get people to, to make people aggressive in a, in, a, in a fighting game. And I just oh, I love it so much. It's so good. It's more right, too, because so like if you go into a fight like you're, you're at full energy, you know, like it it is sort of a tactic to like if you want to just spend it all right there and try to get that KO immediately, you can. But. Yeah, spend the cash, uh, and and so yeah, having also having like the supers on a, on a separate bar too is 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 not something you see yeah. very often, and I, and I really like that. Like that's 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 a super genius move, and and that's one that you kind of have to be conscious of. Uh, and then you got the whole thing of just trying to to, to manage your drive meter because like yeah, getting put in burnout is a is a Oof. genuine bad spot to be. And and just it, it, they they they've nailed the balance of it like in, incredibly well. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and so yeah, it makes every fighter feel different and, and unique and, and really really awesome. And also, everyone in this game is cracked out of their minds. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, like like they 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 hit him with the syndrome. Like everyone is super in this mm-hmm. game, and and I, I I love that design philosophy in fighting games. Like Dragon Ball Fighters was a similar way to to where like every every fucking character does ridiculous mm-hmm. shit that can clear out like three quarters of of your health, and that's so fun because it feels so dangerous. I love it. Or all of it if you're Marissa. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Marissa has a has a genuine seventy five percent damage combo that that she can get off of a fucking light punch like it's ridiculous. <laughs> Man, she needs one hit confirmed to delete your health, dude. <laughs> She's okay. Yeah. I I just realized that I, I only play even games. I've played two, four, and six, so I won't play again until eight. <laughs> <laughs> Skipping seven, dude. I'm not playing it. Don't ask me why. I don't know. What about Mortal Kombat one? No. Well, that's Mortal Kombat. It's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> it's 12, technically. technically. Sorry. <laughs> okay. All good. But yeah, uh, uh, service level slots, good game. Fantastic. Okay. Do we want to move on to the main breadth of the review, Chris? I would, but before we do that, 
if you don't fucking like, comment, and subscribe this thing, I'm gonna have Doke in your face, bro. Are you like, are you kidding? Me? <laughs> not gonna, I'll show. I'll fucking drive impact through your door. Sand you know, <laughs> not a sandblast, bro. Yeah, please, uh, please. If 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 you played Street Fighter before, if you if if you haven't, like, comment, subscribe. Tell uh, tell us what you think. Are you if you're thinking about getting the game? Uh, we just put up a, a review for Spider Man Across the Spider Verse, which is a very good movie, and you can check that out uh well you know it's all in the recommended on on this side i think by the time this goes up or right before the or right after this goes up like we're, we're getting into what was formerly uh e3 time rest in, rest in peace summer game fest is on the way we're gonna have reactions to the xbox and and starfield direct we're doing capcom and ubisoft and also uh, all sorts of other stuff it's good it's a good time to be a video game fan ladies gentlemen and non-binaries and so if you want to know about it at the same time that we put it up, you just hit that bell down there and it'll let you know. Nailed it. Don't you don't want me to come drive impact through your front door. It. All right. You hit the hit the subscribe or button. Maybe you do. Maybe you do. And that's fine. We'll go get a pizza or something <laughs> afterward, you know? He's got a giant black eye. Like, I'm, I'm. <laughs> Eat away your misery. Now what would you real quick before we get into it, what would your drive impact be, Chris? <laughs> Oh, I hadn't thought about it. That's, that's, really that's, that's a really good question. There you go. We'll come back to that. We can keep going. By the yeah. end of the show. By the end of the show. <laughs> no, we're just going to sit here in silence while Chris thinks. We'll figure it out. We'll get there. I'll, I'll put some thought into it. I'll put some thought into it. I, I like the I, I always like the idea of just like fucking like throwing a throwing a bow, you know? And I mean, there just you go. Hitting a, hitting a, just, go, just rush at him. Boom. Yeah, Luke, Luke actually has like his... his uh, He's got a special movie where he runs forward and then actually like throws the elbow out. I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. I, I think that would be. When I, mine would be when similar I used to, to that. Get into fights as a kid because I was a fuck. Um, I would throw knees all the time, and I feel like if I tried to do that, my knee would just fucking dislodge from my leg. <laughs> like, the, mine would. The, sh- uh... If I use my left knee, it'll fucking shatter. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, and if it yeah. gone, I, I twisted it at a metal court mm. show last year, and, and now I feel fragile. <laughs> That's a dude, the Captain Falcon, the knee of justice. Yeah. Oh God! It would break them and me. <laughs> you might be dead, but me too. Uh, that would be a double KO right there, man. <laughs> One hit double KO. I like that. <laughs> nice. Oh goodness! All right. Oh goodness! What are we talking about next? This is your review. Take it away. Sweet. All right, here we go. So uh, the kind of nitty gritty time. So the first thing that I that I wanted to to kind of cover was the was the various modes of it, and, uh, and I want to get your guys' thoughts on. It. I'll give you my thoughts on it. That that sort of thing. And, and I figured we'd go. There's kind of three main modes in in Street Fighter Six, which is really cool. Like the, the way that they kind of like sectioned it off. Um, I think I I honestly think uh, in our service level stuff, we we touched on World Tour pretty well. I agree. Uh, the yeah. the only the only thing I'd, I'd I would kind of add to to what we already said was was that it's fun making the, the avatar creator is is way more in depth than it <laughs> needs to be people. and boy can you make some abominations <laughs> I was say, some of the people you see you're like that's hilarious that's hilarious oh god that's hilarious that's <laughs> that, yeah you, you can find some, some real avatar. affronts to God you know I mean it's just it's horrific and I and I love that Capcom said here you go do Why whatever not? you want we don't care. Yeah. <laughs> they posted on Twitter yesterday. They were they're like, <sighs> okay, show us your avatars. <laughs> yeah. no, some of them are like I, I watched kind of funny, and they had like they were playing Sir Lore, I think it was Lawrence, and his character just has like a big yeah. like, beer gut, and like he's short and pudgy. I, I loved it, and that that's a tame that's a tame thing compared to what you can see. In the oh movie. yeah, oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. I've seen I've I've seen some some horrible Newsies. horrible things. <laughs> Uh, what's, what's so funny too is that there is like a, a, a function with uh, within the, the battle hub where you can't fight your avatars, and yeah. and like and if those you, proportions uh, matter, <laughs> yeah, that that determines like your hitboxes and your reach and stuff. Like that's hilarious to a lot me, of them but don't care. Uh, there, what it there's, means. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Capcom let you do it. It's in the game, so you might as well. So it's like mm. you can if you wanted to, which is which is kind of a recurring theme to this, which is which is like Capcom like kind of allowing you to play it in the way that you want to in in a way that 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 feels comfortable for you which is amazing but yeah world, world tour is really fun it's 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 a cool opportunity to kind of like get the get to know the characters better if you if you don't already if you haven't played street fighter before it, it also operates as like a really great uh 
like tutorial for it. it it does a good job of breaking down all the, all the mechanics as as you go through it and and kind of gets you used to it before before jumping online austin i saw your hand yeah i i appreciate it for that as well like it, it really it just introduced me to street fighter and some of the characters but did anyone fight anything super wacky like there was a superhero i fought and i did fight i fought like a little like cleaner fought a Roomba? yeah I, yeah, yeah I fought, a fridge. Fought like a Roomba. did you actually fight a fridge i haven't fought the fridge yet i haven't fought the fridge yet i, I fought the fridge <laughs> It sucks. <laughs> I hate the fridge. There are some drones I fought yeah. too. I was just wondering because I know I fought, the, I fought the, the drones in the room. I fought a guy named Bow Bow Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know I saw some things online. That there's some some wacky, wacky, wacky shit in there. Mm-hmm. Despite, Wild stuff in there. Just man. going up to freaking Lisa on the. Street. I mean, yeah. I mean, like that's yeah. I mean, like I mean, you can out. you can literally run up and cold cock anybody. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah and, using and your like, yeah, yeah, fight, your dude, like it's incredible. Yeah, it's, it's great. Like, yeah, and that's where we got our great the social clip from the Street Fighter showcase of just, is that a fridge? <laughs> yeah, I saw, this thing on, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saw this thing on TikTok today. It was, like, this person who was, like, chasing a drone that you had to, like, hit or something, and they used, like, their uppercut, mm. and they accidentally just freaking rocked someone right next to the drone, and, like, and we're <laughs> fighting now. It's like, all right. <laughs> the, the dude's like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> and I'm like, the guy like, I don't know either. <laughs> that's what happened to me because uh chun lee's like spinning kick like that thing lasts for so long i'm like i'm just going you, you can and just cancel ran it. right into the person you can cancel it you can also the novelty of, of <laughs> using those those moves as as uh like traversal options is fucking hilarious mm-hmm. too helicoptering mm-hmm. across like a pond to get to the, <laughs> the to the like treasure chest in the middle of it is hysterical i never did so that good I, I love how ridiculous it is yeah right and I do. Uh, yeah, I, I, like right after you get it, if you if you like climb the ladder up, that's near where where Chun Li is. Like, like, uh-huh. like Chinatown is is like a, a hallway, right? You can spinning bird kick from one roof to the other. <laughs> oh jeez, <laughs> I never tried that. <laughs> I did want to mention. Yeah, it's really good. Who's the character that is essentially like a soup? Like he just sinks into himself. It's like he's on the, he's on the bottom right. He's the guy who. It's not Dalton, is yeah, it? Yeah, I think so. I call him Soup. Does he stretch? He's like, Does he stretch? Yeah, he has like no bones. <laughs> Shoots fire. Yeah, yeah. that's Dalton. Yeah, I enjoyed yeah. like fighting against him because I, I I tried doing him and I was like I can't I can't do this I can't get this down. But like you're fighting, the only person I think I've ever heard fighting say against I enjoyed him, fighting he, against Dalton. He was the only person where like you, yeah. I get my ass kicked and I, and I was laughing the whole time just because of the way the dude moves. So like I I didn't care about it, but I think he's he's wacky ah. and I enjoyed him for that. But yeah, Dalton is the bane of my fucking <laughs> existence. There are a few things less that that I enjoy less than fucking fighting against a sim player. I hate him. I hate zoners. I'm a rushdown player. Dalsim is one of the most aggravating characters to ever play against. I fucking can't stand him. Now, I will say, when I fought against him, I didn't get, like, a single hit in, so maybe that's why, but... I, I, that, I that, then, that's a good Dalsim player. Like, that's, his, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. his whole play style, is you stay over there. Yeah. Super frustrating because because of it. that's the running thing. Zoners are very very good. It makes it super not fun for the person playing against the zoner, Dalsam and JP and, and Guile and characters like that. Uh, and so they they tend to be like some of the most hated characters in the in the game because they're not fun to play against. <laughs> if you can get some good hits, if in. you go into it with like I'm just here to have a good time, he's fucking hilarious. I'm yeah. Just saying. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's 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 great. Oh, he's he's goofy as hell, and I love Dalton actually, actually. But it was the first time I fought against him, and I wasn't ready for it. So then I saw him do his little like soupy stuff, and he was like, just had no bones, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> he's a oh, yoga he's master, fire. dude. <laughs> cool. He's a yoga master, dude. That's why he's able to uh, do that, that makes stuff. Sense. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah Every yeah. yoga master does that, yeah. including including the stretching. Yeah, uh, and shooting fire. He's just, he's just soup guy. Um. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that that's World Tour. I think we covered covered that pretty well. Um, mm-hmm. on, on on top of that, I I think we've covered a lot of the, the fighting ground as well, just in terms of like the the, 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 the really excellent training mode with with the, the character breakdowns and the, and the, the combo trials. Have you guys done any of the combo trials or anything yet? Yeah, okay. I did the one for Kimberly. I got all the way through that, and nice. what's really cool is you can actually get through all that on modern controls yeah. too. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they, they they let you play it. How, however, um, or maybe not through all of it. I got through all the beginner ones, I should yeah. say, and like one or two of the intermediate. I think I think there might be like one or two that are locked to classic, but I'm not 100. percent I haven't tried any of them yet. I, I think that's probably what out. what I when I stopped was like I just wasn't getting like the speed of the inputs in time. It's like all right, I got I got the beginners down. I I, I can run with those. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it can be fast. It can be quick. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, kind of kind of the, the the main thing that I that I really want to touch on though, uh, well, well, actually, before we leave fighting ground, this game launched with an arcade mode, and that's hilarious because Street Fighter Five didn't. Um, 
moving on. <laughs> it's uh, the 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 real thing that I, that I that I want to talk about is is the the battle hub and 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 the online experience of of, of yep. this game because it is really something something special that, that they've got here. So uh, for the uninitiated, the battle hub is genuinely they, they put you in a lobby that is just an online that is just a big virtual arcade. You have your avatar. There there's this big circle that's full of arcade machines that you go and, and sit down and, and play against other people and and you do have matchmaking available to you if you go into the menu you can turn ranked or uh casual matchmaking on uh if you don't want to have to load into the final server load into the battle hub do all of that matchmaking is also available in the fighting ground menu too which is which is really nice just depending on, on how much you want to like engage with that right um, but yeah, the, the the battle hub is generally it's like you have it, it's it's almost some like Ready Player One shit. You have your avatars. You all oh, sit yeah. down to play to play games together. There are other arcade game in the machines game. as well to where you can play uh, like the extreme battles, which are like Mortal Kombat y uh, like play Street Fighter, but also bombs are falling from the sky, like you know shit like that. A, a bull runs across the screen every twenty oh, seconds. Yeah, I was like, that, like that, that, that's available. I never did. You said those were like the extreme fights or whatever. Extreme battles, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, I was hoping to do um, that. I forgot. I'm not, I'm not into that sort of thing. I haven't, I haven't touched that. Uh, there, there are also uh, like a set of arcade machines within within the Battle Hub that have classic Capcom games on them as well. Ooh, uh, Street Fighter Two is fight? there. Final Fight, uh, and and apparently they're going to like rotate them out as well. Like somebody found like Super Turbo in in the files. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw like oh, one of the Alpha games please. of Street Fighter Three come up. That's smart. That's really please, smart. Please, Capcom. Give me mighty final or mighty final fight from the NES. Ooh, that would be sick. I that is one of those games I had growing up that I just loved. I was bad at it, <laughs> but it was just fun. It was super stylish. Every game ever, I understand. One of my. Uh, <laughs> One of, one of my favorite things that I, that I saw was right when the game, like genuinely at midnight, the game came, came out. I was in the middle of, of, of like Steam did its thing to where I was like, hey, I have it preloaded. And it goes, OK, we're going to spend an hour like unpacking the game first. And I'm like, motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, why preload it? <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm scrolling through Reddit and stuff. And like at 1201. I saw this post of a dude sitting at the Street Fighter 2 machine in the Battle Hub, and I like shout out to the guy who loaded into Street Fighter 6 and immediately sat down to play Street Fighter 2. <laughs> That's, awesome. That's such a good point. I didn't even think about that until you I was like, that dude knows what he wants, man, and I love that for him. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I'm ready. What is that? Can't it's like, is that, is, that, is that World Warriors? <laughs> can't you play other people in those two? Not online. Oh, you can you oh, can local. Online. Gotcha. You can't you can okay. locally. Uh, That's cool online. still. But it's it's there. It's that. it's it's a video game that has other video games in it. Super cool. Like full. It's it's all of Street Fighter Two and all of Final Fight. Yeah. Uh, it's it's the arcade versions of the game, really cool. which is which is really cool. Um, but but yeah, the, the Battle Hub has has arcade machines. You pick your character. You sit you sit down. You play with somebody. Other people can can walk up and put their digital quarter right uh, up up on the screen and, and join the queue. Like I got next, and 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 you can sit down and, and and play with people. And and it creates like this genuine communal thing that does remind me of. of going to the arcades in the late nineties, early two thousands to, to play street fighter three and, and, and uh, like, like tech and four and, and all these other things. It's, it's the same thing, you know, you know, which, which is so cool that they managed to, to recreate that like, like digitally, like it, it, it blows my mind. But then on top of that, hmm. once you're in the game, you have what I think might be the most solid net code I've ever experienced right. in a fighting game. Oh, I have, yeah. 22 hours into this game and i have not seen an online hitch once and i'm i'm a fucking wi-fi warrior which is which which is x nay don't do that for most <laughs> fighting games uh i do get skipped a lot in matchmaking because they see i'm on wi-fi which is fair unfortunately my situation i i can't i can't wire in just with the with the way that the my apartment has has but it doesn't matter though because the the, the net code is so solid that i haven't i've had zero problems and like i've played the, the brazilian ken beam days are are over you're no longer playing wi-fi brazilian kens at at 120 ping like it's just it's beautiful <laughs> I, like, well, I, I can't get over how smooth the game is part of that too is just the amount of servers they have in this thing like at least for north america there are 500 different servers <laughs> There's a, there's a lot of them. They were ready. And 90% of them are uncrowded. Like you go – every time I've gone in, like basically like the first like 20 to 30 are packed. And like you go to the other side and like the last like 10 are packed. Everything in between that, you – like there's probably servers you can go in and you're the only one there and you can just go in training mode. It's wizardry. It's, it's wizardry the, the, the way they, they made it work. I don't, I don't know how they got – 
a, a fighting game to, to to feel so smooth and and like even for other games that have rollback netcode layout like this one like you, you still find like occasional hitches and stuff and that and i know they exist i've seen it online like I, it's it's a thing but me personally i haven't experienced it yet and that's wild yes austin you said you put 22 hours in. i, I only put five hours yes. in. You, no mostly because a game called diablo came out but uh, the, the yeah. five hours that i put into uh what were on ps5 is everyone playing on ps5 is it only on ps5 no, it's everywhere. Oh, okay. It's X- Xbox, PC, and PlayStation. Okay. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to. Be, and, I was, and, I, and so I'm playing on, on PC. Playing on Steam. Okay. Yep. yep, I played on PS5. So, yep, PC for me. Okay. I just yeah, I haven't, I haven't encountered any. No, nobody that I know has is, has played on on Xbox yet. Okay. So I got my hair. It's really been bothering <laughs> me. I keep seeing it in the camera. <laughs> Love it. It's great. Great content. It was. I, I apologize. I didn't. I, I. I was hoping you guys would keep going while I had this hair you're tie the, in my mouth. Expert, man. So I, was, nope. so I was just like, oh, all right, we're moving along. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah, no, you uh, you really picked the worst time possible. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll take the blame. No, no, no. I'll take the blame. I stopped the conversation, and then Chris thought this is a good time to put up my hair. <laughs> I was, I was half, I was in my hand. Like I had it. I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna not do it. I have my hat off, and I look stupid. Okay. I'll take, I'll take partial um, blame. <laughs> uh but yeah battle hub is a really really cool thing uh a, a lot of fighting games try to do that 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 lobby and uh and um uh, the the arc system games are are, are kind of notorious for it, but they always suck they're horrible every every single time like street fighter managed to capcom managed to find what 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 made them good and and uh it it's it's lovely just being in it you get this smooth jazz that's playing while you're while you're waiting, you know, you can go down into the center of the hub to to activate like avatar battles and you can fight yeah. one of the other monstrosities <laughs> that are online there with you. Um, I can see myself there's, doing there's a... that just to see people's <laughs> avatars. Like I'm not even I'm not even joking. <laughs> uh, well, and, you, they you don't also, have to fight you can just true. walk around the lobby yeah <laughs> i got five minutes. you can walk around the lobby monsters. you can you can <laughs> it's 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 like being an arcade you can you can walk around you can spectate avatar battles you can spectate other people's matches <laughs> like, like like you can mm-hmm. genuinely just go into the the battle hub to to hang out like being at an arcade when you, uh and and, it, and it's absurd when you said it's like being uh, an arcade, they, i thought that, you meant we like that in the beta I thought you meant like the people who play in arcades just look like that, like the freaking monstrosities that people, cre- like the people who play games. Just I did look not like say that. that. <laughs> no, I did not say that. Um, and 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 there's so many like little things, in, and and that that's you know just kind of the recurring thing is is just like the little things that you wouldn't have thought to like the streaks to, 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 to look for. It was, that was exactly where I was going. Is like if somebody's on a ridiculous win streak, you get like this PA announcement. It's like, hey, a player is on a 20, 20 uh, round win streak cool. or whatever, and That's you're really like, cool. twenty games. I've, uh, I've and, seen and it'll show uh, the highest I think I've seen was sixty two. Like, like so, somebody was dominant. I, there was a professional the player in there somewhere. Um, what's cool is when that happens, there's a giant like television screen in the, in, in the hub and it'll pull up the character they're playing, their username, their win streak, and like their, their customized like, like player card, right? And it'll show you like, hey, this is the person. Uh, so on top of that, they're really... Like, yeah, yeah, it's like you want to try it. This is their name. Go find them. Like, uh, which, which is 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 really really cool. There's another screen where you can literally like sit down and they play like uh, they they made like a music video using the theme of this game, right? That you can sit down and, and watch like a movie theater. There's all kinds of like trailers and stuff that that get played in there. Uh, when, once they start host, hosting like online events and stuff, there there's a uh, like a counter in there, like a hub where you where you can participate in online tournaments and do all uh, things like that. Like uh, if you go up to the to the second floor there's a dj booth and you can actually go up in there and 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 remix songs like to beats like there's a bunch of samples wow. and stuff that you can mess with and it's like a little loop pedal to where i love you, loop pedals. you, you press a few you, you press a few sound effects and then it saves it and loops and you can build on top of that i i, I have this clip of, of my guy dj and then this dude comes up and he's like yeah let's go <laughs> <laughs> like, i was like and i was just like this game is fucking awesome what is that, like, the, a, they did not have to put in a fucking dj mechanic into a street fighter no. game but it's there <laughs> It's there. It'd be really cool if it's like so cool. If people got on like a fifty win streak or whatever. I, I, this is probably technically impossible, but they put up like the actual fight on the screen, and you can just watch it. I mean, that's what that screen is. Yeah, you can watch the whole fight. Though. You can go up there. You can't watch the fight that's from, what the, I mean. from the stream. You'd, 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 you'd have you'd, no. You'd have to go find them and and, oh, and inspect gotcha. their game. Like, I wish yeah. if like they got on um, the streak, just went whoop. Here it is. 
It would it would be cool. I think my understanding is that once they start doing tournaments, they might have a spectate option on on that screen there for for oh, tournaments. Gotcha. But that's but that's also unconfirmed. Don't don't quote me on that if I'm wrong. Uh, that was that was just kind of the rumor I'd heard. Mm-hmm. Um, right. cool. But but yeah, just, just like makes- generally, generally, it's like I've never seen a lobby in a in a in a fighting game like be as cool as that one. And and they they did a really good job of, of making it enjoyable to to get online to play a Street Fighter game, right, which. Who'd have thought? We've been really positive. So I, the one this is this is not even really on them, but I did see some usernames that were pretty questionably allowed. So I was like, okay, yeah, <laughs> that's a little weird. <laughs> but what yeah, do you know? and 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 that stuff gets ironed yeah. out with time, yeah. right? Like I think, yeah, some some something in the code just like managed to let that slip mm-hmm. through. And it's and it's like the first week yeah. or whatever. So I, I get it, but yeah, yeah, and it's It'll also get care of. Capcom ID. So I, I think this is this Capcom's first attempt at crossplay. No. No, five had crossplay. Um, okay, but uh, five had crossplay later. Right, but did it like um, use the Capcom ID system? Well, well. So the thing is, is even in game, is is uh, you you tie the platform to your ID, but your in game name you you can pick whatever. Gotcha. Yeah, I saw uh, I saw some and, and, not so tasteful. And so and and so yeah, I, I don't think the filter is quite as strong on the in game name as it is uh, for for the Capcom IDs, unfortunately. Which that which is just sense. like wh- this sense. is why we can't have nice things. Like God damn it. But. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like it's 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 shitty people mm-hmm. ruining things for others. Like just just yeah. be nice. Just be nice. What the fu- what the fuck's wrong with you people? I swear to God. Um. <laughs> so something that I just kind of wanted to, wanted to touch on. I know we talked a lot about like the the, the modern controls mm-hmm. and, and that sort of thing, and 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 you guys had had your experience kind of uh, like being new to the game and and having like a really cool avenue to mm-hmm. to come in and, and be able to learn it with with uh, the most approachable with, fighter with, without, ever played, which is excellent. And 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 yeah, that's, yeah. that's a huge reason why why I'm so in, in, in love with this. I think I think the game does a really good job of of lowering the skill the skill floor without lowering the skill ceiling. Uh, it's it's yeah. made it approachable for new people, but anyone that's been playing Street Fighter still can play the way that they always have. Like it's 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 genius the way the way that they did this. But I I wanted to talk about uh, modern controls for me personally, which was uh, for for a long time. I mean, I ha- I own two fight sticks, right? Like I've, I've been I've been playing Street Fighter a long long time, you know. Um, and I there were no modern controls in other ones. You could play like the six button style on a controller with with previous games if you wanted to, but why would you do that? That's horrible. So I was always a, a, a stick boy. Um, in the February of this past year, I woke up one day to some very extreme pain in my back. And after uh, a, a, a very, very long process, uh, like it, it was determined that I have a, a, a nerve issue in my spine uh, to where there, there's essentially like a, a nerve that runs from your, there are like three nerves, like main nerves that, that run from your neck and, and down into each of your arms. Uh, one, one of them passes through through your elbow. That's where your funny bone is, right? That's, that's a nerve that sits right there. And that, and and what uh, my physician discovered is that that nerve in, in my left arm doesn't move properly through my elbow, which can which uh, causes with with the issue was it essentially like cause some like synapses to fire in, in, in the wrong places, causing a lot a lot of pain in my back for a really long time. Um, so we, we managed to work it out, and I haven't been living with that pain anymore. But I, I, I can f- still like feel it in my elbow every now and then, just like it not like moving properly. And, and after the game came out, I discovered that after playing on stick for a little while, like like, like fight stick, uh, my hand tends to go numb after after a, a, a couple rounds, just just because of, of like what it is and, and what the movements are on on the thing. Is is it just kind of aggregates that in, in my elbow? Uh, it's not an uncommon thing. It's not the only game to do it, but uh, it was for a game that's as precise as Street Fighter. It, it 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 was really really frustrating. And so when the open beta happened, and I and I started discovering that issue, I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna give the modern controls a shot and 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 see like if they're any good. I was yeah, I was really down and, and dejected. I was like, damn, like I wasn't planning on doing doing this. And the modern controls have allowed me to come in and be able to play street fighter at the, at the level I was with, without aggravating my injury again in, in, anymore. Uh, it's like, I'm able to come in and, and focus on the, on, on the game in the, in the neutral without worrying about, about my uh, losing the feeling in my hand while playing a video game. And, and so I, I just kind of wanted to give a shout out to modern controls for, for that. Uh, like, like not only is it like a, a really, really great approachable thing, but it, it kind of like fixed a problem that I didn't know I had until the game came out, uh, which, uh, which was really, really nice. So, Shout out modern controls. Thank you very much, very much for that. Of course, the downside to using modern controls is, is yeah, you lose a lot of your normals. You, you essentially have fifty percent 
like less options than than people with, with classic do uh because you're you're kind of locked to whatever auto combos the game gives you and and uh you you, you lose a couple moves and different characters are affected more by that than others like ryu, ryu can luke uh you know, there's those are characters that, that aren't hurt as much mm-hmm. as say like Chun Chun Li has this whole like stance mechanic, and one of her stances is just inaccessible in modern controls. Like like Chun Li gets hurt pretty bad by modern. Um, but, the, the, but I mean, yeah, it, it's it's nice to get in there, and and uh, modern players also do twenty percent less damage as yeah. as well. Oh, I thought it was, I thought it was um, less than that, but nice one. It's twenty percent. Significant amount. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's a it's a significant like, amount, um, but uh, but I I makes... do I do think it is a pretty decent trade off for being able to pull off supers at the oh, present. For sure. Could you see you know, them yeah. playing with sure. that percent a little bit? Could you see them knocking it down? Or you think it's, I can see that yeah. getting adjusted yeah. here here and there? Um, yeah, right now at least. Like if I go up against a classic control player, like I just feel like there's if they know what they're doing, I stand no chance. Yeah. They're literally doing more damage. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah, they're they're literally doing more damage. Uh, and have more options like like I, I i do think like if if you're serious about getting into in an industry fighter at a high level like mm-hmm. spend the time to learn classic but if you're if you're in it to have a good time like i like i'm playing ranked and stuff even with the modern controls and my my goal is like i've never been the most competitive street fighter player either like i'm, I'm gonna try and like climb my way up to gold with a couple characters and i'll be like cool that's that's good enough for I me did like, the- I, I like to be good mm-hmm. enough to to beat my friends <laughs> and to to be decent online you, you know that. that's 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 about it. That's that's about as high as I go. I'm not. I'm not going after that two million dollar uh, right. pot at Capcom Cup. Right. I, I do. I do want to retouch on like I, I said before that like Alec gave like the biggest compliment you could for this game, it being his first uh, Street Fighter. But you, I think you gave uh, probably the biggest compliment you could give this game, which is like you were really bummed about the fact that you essentially couldn't play more than a few matches because of your uh, your nerve issue. But the the fact that they allow you to do that, like I could I could see like you genuinely got excited about that like you're like stoked that you can still enjoy this game that you love so that that's something that like should mm-hmm. not be overlooked so good job capcom yeah yeah that's 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 really really great and and like you know i i'm a, I'm a little stuck with modern controls until, the, until like if this ever works itself mm-hmm. out right or i invest in a hitbox which i, I will but they're expensive <laughs> um which a hitbox is a is a fight stick but rather than the the stick it's actually more buttons oh. uh oh. Gotcha, gotcha. Which 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 I think would would help a lot because sure. I'm not doing this. I'd be, I'd be doing this, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But they're like three to four hundred dollars. Like they're very expensive. Um, so that's down the road. Sure. And, and so yeah, it's like I, I gotta I gotta work a little harder to 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 win my matches, right? Uh, because I'm doing I'm doing less damage in it. But I uh, but the uh, the cool thing about modern controls is that for special moves, which which are uh, again uh, in in modern usually like one button and a direction, mm-hmm. you can still input the regular special move input. So you can still do quarter circle forward punch to do a Hadouken. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, I, I've, I've looked up some combo guides online and stuff, which is something I highly recommend, by the way, uh, like don't just do the combo stuff in the, in the game. If you, if you want to learn like some really, really good combos, just search your character, modern or classic controls, and then bread and butter combos. Like that's, uh, that's your learn, learn your character B and B and B's. It'll, it'll help you vary up your game a bit. Uh, as I find some like, some like really cool loot, loot combos and stuff that, that mix in both like doing the like, traditional specials and mixing them with the, the modern controls, which is, which is really cool. It's like, yeah, it's it, like I said earlier, they did an incredible job of, of lowering the skill floor with, without moving the skill ceiling so, down at all, which is usually like a, a, a dual thing, but instead they went, Hey, more people can come together, in. Yeah. Yeah. Qu- yeah, question. more people can come in, but all of the previous people are still going to be able to play at the same level they were. So you're playing, mm. let's say you're playing on modern controls, but you use the classic control input to use a certain move. Does that still, is that move still decreased by 20%? No. Okay. Curi- yeah. I was just curious. Yeah, no, it is not. But uh, but you're also talking about like one sure. move in a string of sure. moves versus all of your moves doing sure. doing the normal damage. Very yeah. limited amount of like, yeah. where that would be... You yeah, but what, but what it does is, is is it forces you to get good at neutral though, right? Like, uh, like, like it's like okay, I know my combos are gonna be are gonna be doing less damage. I gotta make sure that I'm being good about taking less damage and, and, and finding the weaknesses and getting in when I get when I can. And and that's been really really fun. This game has made me better at, at neutral in, in in Street Fighter, which uh, much to the chagrin of my of, of my friend Sam, who always used to beat me in neutral, and now I'm like, ha ha, I learned. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so, well, that's honestly been really something fun. that's cool. I mean, if you think about it, like you said, modern controls kind of teach you a way to play fighting games. And then once you get into the classic controls, you kind of have that mindset still. By by removing the 
the difficulty of 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 in, of motion inputs it allows you to focus on your fundamentals right mm-hmm. uh no, knowing that once once you've recognized that somebody isn't blocking that i can i can do i can do a light punch combo here i can press one button to do that combo and and, and get in and then follow up from from there yep. you, you you learn how to how to block when to drive impact when to rush when to when to parry and do all of these things uh which then yeah that sets that foundation for you to be like okay like I've, I've talked to some people online who are like, yeah, I started with modern and now I'm already kind of playing around with classic a bit and, 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 and learning it because you have the fundamentals built up from modern. Then you can relearn kind of how to do like the normal buttons and, and, and combos and, and, and have that open up for you, which I think is, is, is brilliant. There's such a cool pipeline there. It feels very catered for like every angle of, of player. Yeah. And, yeah. Getting better and improving. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just, I, I think that's kind of the, the one takeaway that I constantly have was, was how they made this game approachable for new players without sacrificing anything for the returning. Like, yeah. um, you'll have some old heads whining, complaining about losing to modern controls because they have easier inputs, but we're doing less damage than we have less options. If you're losing to modern players, we're better. Wow. That's just what it is. It's a skill issue, dude. Get fucking good, Whoa, you losers. He said it. So modern controls rise up. <laughs> modern control gang. <laughs> uh, the la- the last thing I wanted to touch on here before uh, but before we get going is, is this quick one is is just um like how how great the characters are. I, I think all the yeah. I, I think all the new fighters are designed really really well. There's lots of really really cool mechanics that you get in there. I mean you know uh, Marisa I think is one of the coolest characters I've ever seen in a fighting game. Right like Shadow we we love a buff woman. And if you've ever done like like her versus our arcade mode or anything, she does this really great thing to where she she walks out with her arms up and then she flexes and forms a heart with her biceps. <laughs> and I'm like fuck yeah dude let's go <laughs> because yeah, it, because her critical art her level three super two so do this thing where she hits their face turns her hand rips it off and it leaves like the impression of a heart on their face like it's such a cool oh little thing it's baby itty bitty baby spoiler like uh is it zangief is that how you how do you pronounce yeah well yeah he, zangief this little arcade story is essentially uh, responding to a flyer of Mar- marissa or however you pronounce her name um marissa yeah marissa. and it says like looking for a partner in it, but she's looking for like love and he thought it was for like a wrestling match, <laughs> and then just playing through that was so good. That was like the best. Oh yeah, ever. that's a recurring thing. And I'd even I'd even saw someone like take a shot at at, at Blizzard like through Marisa's storyline to to where they're like, hey, we're gonna release a character. We're not gonna say uh, like nothing about like their their sexual preference. We'll let the fandom take over that, and and they can kind of like create that image around them. And then Capcom comes and is like, "This is Marisa. She wants to fuck Zangief." (laughs) 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 One thing I think that's really cool, like in the arcade mode, is like I just kind of found this randomly because you know I just hopping around from character to character, and uh, doing Manon's uh, storyline or arcade line, you fight. Uh, Marisa at the last one mm-hmm. and then it's basically flip if you do the opposite yeah the, so the, the, the arcade really cool. bosses are, are are the same for each character which is which is which is really really bad so yeah if you fight Marisa or if you fight Manon as Marisa when he plays Manon you'll fight Marisa at the end of your arcade mode which, mm-hmm. is, which is fun shout out to to Luke and uh, Jamie's final boss fight in arcade by the way who get into a fight literally because jamie wasn't watching where he was going and walked into luke and he's like what the fuck dude and, and then they luke. beat the shit out of each other <laughs> that's funny <laughs> it's really excellent uh, so yeah I, I think all the characters have a ton of personality um uh, because of the way that the drive mechanics are implemented in, in in this game it allows all their movesets to be really unique and and everyone feels fresh and different from from each other which is really really cool like ken and, and ryu do not feel the same um, which is, is, is really, really awesome. And that, that has allowed to like a lot of these older characters to, to feel fresh again, to feel new and, and, and different, uh, like, like Cammy and Ryu, I think in particular, uh, are, are like, they feel crazy different. They, they play very differently than the, than, than the way they used to. I think the or biggest me, change is probably DJ. I was just going to say, used to be, DJ. who used to be just worse guile um who now has like all these crazy like trick moves and, and feints and stuff and and like these super these super intricate mm-hmm. combos like um like dj is a fighting game character for fighting game fans he's got all sorts of tools uh, available to him that make him so so interesting he uh he, he's it's like the mechanics are built into him to literally play mind games with with the other person and and it's just yep it's really really awesome like if you're gonna get super invested in the street fighter check dj out like he he's worth the time 
Um, but but uh, but I mean, yeah, like all all the new characters, I think I think like visually they're designed very very cool. Everyone looks really really great. Like uh, Kimberly and 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 Marisa and JP, I think in particular are like the three designs that really stick out for me. I'm like, wow, these people are super rad. Uh, <laughs> just, just in terms of what they what are. What engine is this in? It's the RE. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So yeah. Reach for the moon, which is, which <laughs> might be like the the single most impressive like gaming engine yeah. on, on on the market right now. Because I mean, this is the same engine that Monster Hunter and Resident Evil are running, um, mm-hmm. and and I mean it's it's buttery smooth, sixty frames the the whole time. The detail in this the detail oh, yeah. in this game, like, like the environments too. That like like in which you oh, fight. Yeah. Like, there's that one couple who was like dancing in the background or whatever. I assume there are a couple. I guess. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, well, well, I mean, just even like. Uh, like in Ryu is super like you can see like the muscles like changing and flexing in his arm oh, as, yeah. he, as he pulls yeah. back or like, right like just all the fight end screens are so cool for each character yeah uh and and i also wanted to want to shout out just even like the 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 amount of work that the animation team clearly clearly put in uh because when when they when the gameplay debut first came out like last year uh somebody pointed out it was like hey check out when luke does this low kick on on Ryu. like when it when it lands you see Ryu's foot like come up like as it as it comes down but there's mm-hmm. a different animation for when he blocks when when luke blocks you know he put he puts his arms up and as he's getting hit you see him going back and forth like this and, and reacting to each one like there's there's genuine fluid reactions for every single character depending on where and how hard they're they're hit and that's wild usually block animations are, are kind of like you have two or three for each character but like uh, high medium and low right but that's about it um, whereas like, yeah, if, if, if you're taking multiple punches, like Luke is doing it, doing this thing where, where he's going back and forth, just an insane amount of detail on, on, on all fronts that uh, again, it's, it's didn't need to be there, but it, but it is. And I think just adds that much more to what the game is. Yeah. Because the, cool the characters stuff. are already really intriguing and had in, in a good solid roster. The fact that they look stunning and like the environments are stunning and there's so much detail just only improves that. So it, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Luke's forearms are just massive like the size of my face I was, like when i was making my person i was because it's it shows you like lucas comparison so i was like oh i'm supposed to make it somewhat like luke and then i was like ah oh, shit i shouldn't have done that oh no oh, <laughs> give, him the pop, give him the give him the popeye arms i look like popeye arms. <laughs> <laughs> i i made i made my character to where i i made my character to where uh I was like, I want to do, I want it to look a little like me, you know, I'll give him the top knight and the beard, but I wanted, it's a street fighter, I wanted to be jacked out of his mind. And I gave him some tattoos and stuff, and he <laughs> walks out, and I went, I made white Roman reigns. <laughs> that was, that's just what he looks like. Chiseled jaw, beard, like 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 top knight, you know, jacked out of his mind. I was like, he's Roman reigns, but white, oh no. <laughs> Roman reigns, spelled with like R-A-I-N. <laughs> um but but yeah and also just a, a big shout out to the to the aesthetic of the game like really really putting the street back into yeah. street fighter i think was a, a a really really good move um five five had like this really like clean esports look to it because it was very esports focused um and had a bit more of like a like a rock and le- electronic soundtrack whereas this one it's like this feels a little dirty a little a little grimy like the 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 stages are all all super varied and like you said, very detailed and and and, and great looking. And and then the whole, it's why I lost whole soundtrack has this, has this really the great. <laughs> whole, whole soundtrack has this really 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 great like hip hop theme to it uh, that that is just really really cool. And uh, Street Fighter Three, like Third Strike in particular, is, is is really really known for that. And that was really really popular because it was like, hey, this feels like we're fighting in the streets. Like it's it's not mm-hmm. it's not just superpowers, you know. Uh, and and I think this game captures that again super well. And, and the aesthetic is really nice um that's kind of everything everything i had y'all ready to take us out give us a score chris would you do that all right street fighter 6 on the share screen scale earns a 10 out of 10 (laughs) for being one of the single greatest fighting games i've ever played in my life now my follow-up question sorry did you ever think about not giving it a 10 or was it always like yes okay cool Yes, Sorry. this is uh, this is uh, this is uh, yeah, this is done deliberately and with with a, a, a lot a lot of thought. Um, I, I just the wealth of options for for new players, the the wealth of resources uh, that are available, the the quality of the online the gameplay, the balance of the mechanics and, and design of, of of the characters, uh, and even having like a fun little silly thing 
to do with, with World Tour. Like I, I think everything makes this an, an, an incredible package as a as a fighting game. Even if you were to just turn it on and only go play online, this will be one of the best like fighting game experiences you'll ever because the gameplay of it is is that good. High praise. It, it would get at it. It would get a ten out of ten for it for its gameplay for its fighting gameplay alone, and then everything else is just is just a mountain of cherries on top of that. And and it's and it's insane that it only got better the more I played it. And it was right at launch. Yep. Like it, you didn't have to wait like a couple months for like new content or whatever. It was right. Everything was there to start with, man. I mean, Capcom's got money now. And like when they were making five. So yeah, they were actually able to release a full video game, which is, which is really, really <laughs> great. Weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> but again, like you said, that, that little bit more time that they said they needed, like it clearly paid it off. Shows. And I'm also, the, yeah, the thing it that shows. gave it a 10, it would have got a 9.5 if they didn't change the logo. Just saying. Oh yeah, for sure. If the, if the, if they release that fucking that iPhone notification ass logo, <laughs> I forgot about <laughs> that. Dude. Just for that, it, oh, it was really bad. Just for that, we give it a ten point five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, ten out of ten out of ten. No more notes. Love it, Alec. Any closing thoughts? I don't think so. Like this is, I mean, this is the fighting game to get me into fighting games. Like. Every, Mortal Kombat Tech or Mortal Kombat One Tekken Eight take notes. Wow, and Tekken Eight the trailer for Tekken Eight looked incredible. So I don't know, there, there could be some some fighting going on. Te- Tekken Eight will actually they they've already released some some information on how they're uh, doing some some simpler controls, mm-hmm. which is good because Tekken this, historically is is a game that does not tell people how to play it. So I right. I, I hope that's that Street Fighter Six inspires them to. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> to what I'm saying. There, like, yeah. It, it it's one of those things like every fighting game is now going to be compared to Street Fighter Six, rightfully so. Because yeah, like this, this is, is the bar. Yeah, it seems like this is one. It, it has a genuine argument for like best fighter ever created. It seems like oh, it's yeah. up there, man. It's up like, there. I, I think it's the best Street Fighter, like hands sure. down. Even even well, with two, I mean the the historical stuff with two is going to be people are going to be like no, but yeah. As a, as a video yes, game, I totally understand. This is the best Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah totally get it. But like this is uh, just one last quick fact. Like this is in like one of. Like Famitsu, that Japanese right. magazine that's been running since the late '80s. This is only its 29th game that's got the Famitsu 40. So, like, you know, yeah. they have four writers. Like, and so that is high praise. Right after this is the most. And Japan loves Cap- Japan loves Street Fighter too. So, so like, it's a really, really important important thing for a Street Fighter game to be good. And and then like Japan to come out and be like, yeah, this game is really good. Sure. That's their opinion mm-hmm. has some weight dude sure. yeah this isn't right after this of course but like skyward sword got a famitsu 40 nintendogs got a famitsu 40 Here's the kingdom <laughs> nintendogs deserve a famitsu 40 for my slight closing thing like i don't fighters are never my thing i literally, literally just pop in see if they're goofy and then bounce like like i like a goofy fighter and that, that's what street fighter 6 like there's a mode in street fighter 6 made literally just for me and i love that so even i bought this game at launch and, and jumped into it and it's extremely approachable and it's so approachable where i started playing a character Jamie hated him, bounced off him, and I was like, ah, fuck, I'll try it again. And I actually did learn it, and I got better, and I really enjoyed that. And it's because of what that's it's awesome. because of what the game offered there for me. Now, granted, did I, I go that. into there and be like, this doesn't teach me anything? And then I realized that I can just hit a little button in the corner and do what it just told me to do instead of being like, just do this. <laughs> and I'm like, what? I don't understand. But yeah, the, everything, literally everything you need to not only like play this game but play it the way you want to play it is in the title at launch you don't like chris you said like if you want to get really good you should go looking for like other things but like i wouldn't say you have to to enjoy this title because i am no. as an idiot no yeah no yeah, yeah. i know i said that i was like hey if you want to go next Correct. level go start looking Correct. for stuff but mm-hmm. like if, if you just want to come in and play it everything's there in the package yep. already which is yep not a statement you can say about i would i would argue mo- not only most video games but most fighters there's a lot of fighters are li- like the barrier to entry is oh that's not a hot take uh d- d- fighting games are historically horrible at teaching yeah. players how to p- people how to play yeah. them that's kind of what i was getting at which is why i bounce off so yeah. quick <laughs> most like you know most uh, as in most nether realm games i just do the single player mm-hmm. bounce it's the same ex- same exact thing for me okay well we give street fighter 6 a 10.5 just kidding 10 out of 10 thank god they changed that logo that really that really changed the score there so it's really thank, you for, <laughs> thank you for watching uh check out our stuff we have the spider-verse thing we have the e3 stuff coming up so thank you very much i'm gonna wait for the camera goodbye